tank. I'm all dolled up to go to the car wash. Get my car washed, fill up the gas tank. Oh, and I have a secret errand that I'm running. Quite possibly a little secret Easter surprise for someone you know quite well. Hi everyone, welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing a highly requested tutorial on this eye look. This is what I'm calling a navy smoky eye. I was wearing it in a video and so many of you commented on it. You wanted to see a tutorial on this look, so I decided to go ahead and do it. I will tell you, you're going to see that look in a couple of videos on down the line that I still haven't edited yet, but I think I was wearing that look in those videos as well. So this is primarily using the Stila in the Light palette and I also pulled the dark navy from from this Laura Mercier artist palette from 2012. Any dark navy would work so if you don't have this palette you can look in your collection I'm sure you have something but I'm primarily using uh, this this color these three colors uh, to create this look and a crap load of liner that's all so I'm gonna start out with a base using the Maybelline color tattoo in barely branded and it's just a shimmery champagne base and I'm going to just pat that all over my lids So I've just applied that on my lid and just barely up into the crease area. So I'm going to start off with the Stila in the Light palette and I'm going to use a couple of shades from this palette. I'm going to use this color which is Bliss. I'm going to go ahead and put that just rough in like my crease area and using a little um, kind of a fluffy-ish fluffy-ish brush and then I'm gonna go into the this a uh, light beigey color called Bear. Um, I use this kind of a brush and just go ahead and put that up along the brow bone. Then next I'm going to go into this blue color here called Night Sky and I'm going to continue to use this fluffy-ish brush because I don't want such a heavy deposit of color but I'm just gonna first just kind of tap it on to my lid and then blend it all around so I want the colors to kind of blend where they meet the crease color and this blue color to kind of fade away So I want to intensify the outer corners of my eyes a little bit and uh, use a darker uh, navy color to do that. And I'm going into the 2012 Laura Mercier Artist Palette and I'm going to use this color here called Deep Night. I should hold like that. Deep night. And it's just a dark navy, so if you don't have that palette, because I know it's limited edition, 
from two years ago. Any dark navy would fit the bill here, so open up your palettes and see which other ones you have that you think would work, because you probably have something in your collection. So I'm just going to clean this little fluffy brush off a little bit, and I'm just going to tap, tap a little bit of color on there. Uh, and carefully place it right here. It this this is a pretty intense color. So now I'm going to take a clean fluffy brush and I'm going to gently blend and I'm going to blend towards the center of my eye because I want more of the color to go that way. And I am uh, I am dipping back in there a little bit after it's blended to get the color to the intensity that I want it. So that's entirely your preference. How intense you want that color to be. And it might depend on what you're doing. I'm going to go back into this crease color, Bliss, and just um, kind of finish blending and warming up that crease just a little bit. So I'm going to make sure that I clean up under my eyes. I'm going to just take a little moist um, makeup remover towel and just clean up under there a little bit. I like to do this when I'm using a dark shadow to make sure that I don't create any dark circles under my eyes using that dark shadow. And I put a little bit of eye cream under there. This is optional. I just want this to be as hydrated as possible before I put on any under eye concealer. I'm also going to run a little bit of this Benefit um, give me brow through my eyebrows just to kind of groom them a little bit make sure they're dark enough I find I really like to do this especially when I'm doing a dark shadow look just kind of keep everything in balance. So before I do my concealer, I'm going to go ahead and tight line. I'm going to use this uh, I'm going to use this Urban Decay 24/7 in the color Sabbath to tight line my eyes. need a different kind of mirror for that. And I'm going to continue running uh, this little bit of liner under my eyes as well and I'm probably going to smudge it out with a little brush. So for my lashes today, I'm going to uh, go for a fuller, more dramatic look, so I'm going to use the Too Faced uh, Better Than False Lashes system where you use the mascara and the little uh, fibers. And I'm going to try something new about just putting the little fibers on the outer corner and seeing how I like that. So I'm not going to put any, 
not going to put any mascara on the lower lashes because I think there's enough going on in this eye look and I think that adding that just to the corner of the eyes gives a little more emphasis um, not quite false lashes certainly if you're into false lashes this would be the type of look you would want to do that and I'm woefully inept at applying false lashes <laughs> So here's the finished face. On my lips I used a Revlon color in Plum Baby. Looks like that. It's such a strong look. I felt I, I didn't want to go nude, but I didn't want to go too bright either. So I think this is a good match for that. And then on my cheeks, I'm working with my uh, NARS Love Joy. You know, this is one of my use up products. I'm trying to use, use it as much as I can. So it's just kind of a neutral cheek color. Thank you so much for joining me today and for requesting this look. I really had so much fun recreating it for you. If you're new to my channel, I would love it if you would subscribe so you can catch future videos. And join me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook because I post lots of great stuff on there too, especially if I'm working on something, I sometimes will post little teaser pictures just, just because that's what I do. I'll see you real soon. Bye-bye.